Professor Jonathan Moore. Why are you here? You is one of these Netflix shows that caused a lot of chatter on the internet. Netflix describes the show as a psychological thriller depicting a brilliant male bookstore manager navigating love and life in his own twisted mentality. You is originally a thriller novel by Caroline Cappens, published in September 2014. The novel has been translated into 19 languages and was adapted later into the television series that we know and love or love to hate. In case you haven't watched the series before, here's a super quick recap. Joe Goldberg is a bookstore manager in New York who seemingly loves the sound of his own voice. Joe meets Beck, an aspiring writer, then we have all those meet-cute scenes then to only find out that Joe is an obsessive stalker who has his own ideas about love. Long story short, Joe kills a bunch of people including Beck's boyfriend and best friend. Beck starts finding out things about Joe including a former lover Candace and she starts doubting that Joe killed her then she finds a weird box of teeth and other creepy stuff, yada 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 later Joe kills Beck. In season 2 Joe leaves New York and heads to LA and changes his name to Will. Joe meets Love, yes that's her name, oh, and let's not forget her brother's name 40, Joe and Love meet while she works at a high-end grocery store named Anavrin. Yada 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 meet cute, bunch of people are killed and bomb. Love is a killer too. She also kills a bunch of people and by the end of the season she tells Joe she's pregnant. Season 3, Joe and Love move to the suburb with their baby Henry. The show somehow turns into a domestic drama with Love being the main psycho who also sleeps with a minor by the way, yes you heard right. Joe soon falls into his old habits again, stalks a neighbor, Love kills her, then he stalks and obsesses with a librarian Marianne, then he kills her ex-husband, Love tells her to run and in the end if the season Joe poisons Love with a lethal dose of aconite to fake a murder-suicide before burning down their home. The last time we saw Joe in season 3 he was on the run in Europe after killing his wife and leaving his baby, Henry, at a neighbor's house season 4, the season is somehow split into two halves, we've only had the pleasure of watching the first half for now and waiting for the second one early March. This season is you, but not quite. Yes we have Joe, yes he goes by Jonathan now and yes he's in another city be it London. But this season plays out as if none of the previous seasons took place. There was no mention of love at all, we barely heard Joe remembering Henry. The whole premise of a psychological thriller is somehow diminished if not at all changed. The story takes place as set in London and Joe is a university professor now, somehow the background check didn't raise any flags. The new identity is supposedly given to Joe by a hitman who somehow wanted to help him out of the goodness of his heart even though he was hired by Love's family to kill him. Joe helps a married woman while she was being mugged, he asks her not to mention his name to police due to visa issues, the woman Kate lives across the street and Joe works with her and her husband at the university. Joe hates her husband and always thinks he's a jerk. Somehow Joe is dragged into their high society club as a thank you for helping Kate. Drinks too much and the next day wakes up to find Kate's husband's body on his dining table, dead. A series of killing among those rich club members occur, they doubt Joe then he finds out that it's Reese, another character that seemingly only Joe can see. Few theories come to mind after watching the first part of the season, one is that it could be that Joe has finally reached to the point where different aspects of his personality are now so different that he's basically suffering from split personality. Another theory, Kate is the killer and Joe is being dragged into another woman's show just like what happened with Love. Or, wait for it. Could it be that Love actually survived and she's the one stalking Joe and doing all the killings? For me, this whole Reese being the killer doesn't really add up. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. At the end of this video, I'd really like to save that for me. The story has too many plot holes and overall very slow-paced and frankly boring. The previous seasons were not 24 material or Hannibal intriguing but I have never been so bored watching you, there are only 5 episodes released and man. Was that a drag? It took me few days to get through them. Let's hope that part 2 of the season can raise the stakes and gives a complete better story.